Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty now. Totally uncut. Yeah. Can say Big what time. the so. fuck we want right yeah. now. Yeah, and we were uh, about to speak on Gail King. Mm-hmm. Gail King, CBS, her interview with uh, Lisa Leslie. A lot of people pretty much got a... Uh, Got upset over yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and, and she's been receiving, you know, a lot of backlash for it. She know? has. Um, do you actually want to hear a piece of this? is just mm-hmm. a very small snippet yeah, of a clip that was going around with Gail King and Lisa uh, Leslie. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, Lisa, go get that girl or tell her or send her this. Mm-hmm. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm-hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. There's... Obviously, layers and, to this. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? what if you take that, Gail did ask a question, but it was the double down mm-hmm. and the triple down that I was like, because I thought Lisa yeah. Leslie came with a very fleshed out answer. Yeah, and she kept going back to the well. Yeah. I'm just like, come on, man. And like for me, it's like, you know, we all know who Kobe was. We also know all the amazing things that he did. We, you know, I, I remember the case going on, but that's not something that I would ever bring up considering, you know, his untimely tragic passing, especially with the way that it played out, where Kobe took his life, the father that he was more than a basketball player. And I just felt like, I don't think that was necessary by any means. And I to just bring think that, yeah, Natalia, I just be, I heard, more since he passed like you you didn't hear that wasn't an introduction Uh to kobe since you know and and it just seems like some people were just going back into a well just saying certain things like it wasn't brought up when he was retiring they didn't bring it up when they retired the numbers like they didn't bring it up he hit 60 points on his last game but he you know so if we had moved past it from all those years why bring it up in his past and i understand you know the the journalistic license and you know, sometimes you do have to ask the question. Yeah. It was just, you know, of course it's timing and people think you're protecting. Yeah. Oh, you're just protecting Kobe Bryant. Not us, but, you know, yeah. you, you, you hear those things. But I just thought the, that Lisa Leslie had already answered it. Mm-hmm. And we didn't play the entire clip yeah. where she yeah. just kept going, kept going back. And I think that's why, you know, the 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 Tariq elites and the mm-hmm. Snoop Dogs and, the you know, LeBron James yeah. of the world, I think that's why... You know, Lil Duval, yeah. D.L. Hughley, you well, know. In case you haven't seen it, this this was Snoop's reaction to it. This was before Gail ever responded to the backlash. And a lot of the the attention came to it as well because of Snoop's reaction. Gail King, out of pocket for that. We expect more from you, Gail. Don't you hang out with Oprah? Why are y'all attacking us? We your people. You ain't coming after f-ing Harvey Weinstein asking dumbass questions. Funky dog hit. How dare you try to tarnish my fucking homeboy's reputation, punk? Respect the family and back off before we come. Yeah. yeah I had to get that part <laughs> off. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah. And, you know, from there, like, I fully understand you're giving your opinion and you're right. Like, I don't I don't believe what Gail did was, was right. She didn't have to ask those questions, especially in the manner that she did. Mm-hmm. But I also think that some people will take what Snoop said and go to the far extreme, like the super far extreme, because after that, Gail started getting all these death threats. And when people start sending death threats, I'm like, are you an idiot? Like, really? Yeah. You're yeah. going to be... And then that, that becomes Stupid. too much. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. become worse than the comment. And not that Gail King is a bad person. I've met her. She's extreme, you know. From what I gather, she's nice. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just, it's just the comment, the double down, the isolated incident. And if you're doing death threats and this, that, and the other, then you know, it's it doesn't. You're worse than go- the actual question. Exactly. You know? And I guess that it got like so bad too. So Gail afterwards, she she put out her video and she was like, you know, I understand why people are upset. It wasn't me that put out the clip because she tried to explain, you know, when the interview came out. No one seemed to have a problem with it. Le- you know, Lisa Leslie was fine with it. Everything was fine. Because it, it went when under they, the radar. No, yeah, it went under the radar. And then it got repurposed. And CBS put out this one specific clip. And then it kind of came back up. But after that, uh, Oprah had a scheduled interview that she did. And they wanted to ask her about Gail. And I just wondered just how she's doing. She and is not doing well. May I say she is not. She is not doing well. 
because she has now death threats and has to now travel with security. And um, she's feeling very much attacked. You know, Bill Cosby is, is texting from, is, is, is tweeting. tweeting from jail. Uh, and uh, she's, not, she's not doing well and feels that um, she was put in a really terrible position because that interview had already ran. Mm-hmm. It was over. And in the context of the interview, everyone seemed fine, including Lisa Leslie. Mm-hmm. And it was only because somebody at the network uh, put up that clip. Mm-hmm. And, that, and, and, and I can see how people would obviously be very upset mm-hmm. if you thought that Gail was just trying to press to get uh, you know, an answer from Lisa Leslie. But um, she, 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 obviously, all things pass. She will be OK. But um, she what hasn't slept in two the, days. Really? What do you think about all that criticism? I think the vitriol is, I think mm-hmm. anybody can criticize anything, but the misogynist vitriol and the attacking to the point where it is dangerous to be in the streets alone, because it's not just the people who are attacking, it's the other people who take that message mm-hmm. and feel yeah. like they can do whatever they want to because of it. And, and, and I totally understand that. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and, and I get that we're watching the trailer and not the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you blame it on the network, but that's not manipulated audio or video. No, it's not. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So it, if it's a 44-minute interview or whatever, yeah. then we did see a piece of it. I haven't went to go see how it all played mm-hmm. out, but that is not manipulating. Mm-hmm. You she went above, you know, and then when you say it already played out like it was yester- yesterday's news, mm-hmm. when we get pulled in for yesteryear's news, yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? You got to apologize for stuff that's, that's 20 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oprah Winfrey did the entire documentary on Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? And, and Michael been dead for over a decade. Yeah. So you come on, man. And, and, and my thing is this. Spread it across. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear Snoop say Harvey Weinstein, we're not saying, I'm not saying, oh, these men, you know, are innocent. Bill mm-hmm. Cosby should have just shut the fuck up. Yeah. But this dude, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> like, you know, yeah. like, shut your That's ass up. That's not where you want the you sport know? coming from. Yeah. But but also, yeah, with, like, you see the pictures and people put the pictures of her and, you know, Gail and yeah. Harvey Weinstein together and Oprah and Harvey. And I haven't mm-hmm. seen them come out against him. Maybe I they have, to. or I, but I'm saying I haven't yeah, seen Yeah, I know. It. That's what I'm saying, too. I Like, I want to see. I saw I want Russell someone Simmons, to say, you know, I yeah. want Oprah to say why she hasn't said anything about Harvey. It's out there. Everyone talks about it all the time. But it makes me think that the reason that she's not saying something is this really secret underlying connection with him that I right. just like, I don't well, know. And we talk she, about I don't the, know. the demolition and, and, and coming after the black man. And I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? But also... We got to be careful how we come at the black woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All women in general. I'm just saying when, because people like, I've been hearing, oh, they're coming after the black men. Okay, I understand that. But sometimes you also got to say, you know what? Instead of me going extremely public, mm-hmm. let me try to get at this person on the down low mm-hmm. yeah. and express this so it doesn't look like we just going yeah. after each other. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. So, I mean, if, if we're talking about the black man, we got we to gotta worry about the black woman as well. Do you think that if Gail would have, when in her response video, if she would have just owned up to what she asked, said, looking back, now that I see it this way, I realize what I had done wrong as a journalist. I should have just maybe asked it once or even not even bring it up, that it would have gone this far? Yeah, I think so. How old was the video? I thought it was it only be a couple old. weeks. No, you know right? what I'm saying? Okay, like, gotcha. Yeah. I how old can it yeah. be? Yeah. You know? Big, you do a lot of interviews, and there's certain things you don't touch, and you kind of have to touch because it's the obvious, but there's times where you feel the artist, and if they don't want to talk about it, like, hey, yeah. we, just, we just leave it right and, there. And when she asked like, once, the fuck? if if she would have just said, you know what, understood, because I was yes. watching, I was watching, um, what's the HBO, HBO Sports? Real mm-hmm. Sports. Real Sports, and I was watching Brian Gumbel, and they did a whole, like, last 15, 20 minutes on Kobe Bryant. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they did touch that. Mm-hmm. But the way that they wrapped it up, Okay. You know what I'm saying? The gotcha. way that they wrapped it up, you wasn't like, oh, oh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if, if that's a part of of a human being, whatever it is, you know, we all have a story. We mm-hmm. all have something. Yep. But they, they did it a little more tasteful, yeah. especially the timing mm-hmm. and how it happened. And people are still mourning. And you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the comedian that came out of his mouth, 
saying all that craziness. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, I it, and and if you blame it on the network, the network when you did all the R. Kelly stuff. That puts you through the roof. Mm-hmm. You didn't. You didn't tell. Yeah. You didn't say nothing oh about gosh, the point. network took that little piece of Robert. Robert, mm-hmm. because we celebrated that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a meme. It was. It, and now when you flip the pancake over, it's. You know what I'm saying? Now it's it's a whole different fucking pancake exactly. because yeah. this the, now it's burnt. You mm-hmm. know, or whatever the fuck. But when it was Robert, 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 and everybody was like, "Oh, yeah, funny, she funny. was a G. She got him. She got yeah. him. Look how he is." Okay. You know, and now, you know, you didn't blame it on the network because a lot of people didn't see that interview. Mm -hmm. A lot of people saw the bite size. They saw the trailer and they said how great of a job she did or it was mean and it was funny. And that got her more assignments and everything. And now this is that assignment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that's just with us, too. One day we sugar. The next day we shit. We get it all the time. Mm -hmm. We get it all the time. man. so. You know, and I feel for her too because I know she's a she. Th- she didn't build a legacy. That that's not Gail King, and that's all she's about. Yeah, yeah. it's just that you know it's gonna be a little rough ride right Definitely. now. You know, yeah. But don't don't nobody go out there and just don't take yeah, it that far. Hurt Stop her, it. and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And all these death threats, and it'd be moms and dads and shit be throwing these death threats. Like, it's what the insane. fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. When yeah. do you just type and wish death on somebody? I have no idea. This, that that's is crazy. Something I can if never... If Vanessa or nobody else that's on that plane, if, if, if no one else that's really next to Kobe is not saying this, that, and the mm-hmm. third, yeah. then people that's doing these death threats shouldn't Stop do it, it either. A thousand percent. You know? All righty. Mm-hmm. We're going to go ahead and get on yeah. out of here, man. Thank you guys for hanging out Thank with us you. uncut. I'm pretty sure that we'll be people all over the board with this one as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But enjoy <laughs> the rest of your day. We're Big Boys Big Neighborhood, up. and we are gone.